Today we're going to take a look at creating this tile shader. I kept it pretty basic. Just wanted to create a color, a roughness, and a normal map. Let's take a look at how we might do that. Let's start by scaling this on the Z axis. And I'm going to apply this scale and then let's add a bevel modifier over here. I'm going to bump this segments up to 5 and then just turn on smooth shading. Oops, and then that's good. Let's go ahead and split our screen and open up the shader editor on the left. And I'm going to hit N to get rid of that shelf. And let's bring in a brick texture. So place that there. Let's see what that looks like. It just turns everything into brick and it's got different shades of gray. It's very useful. It cuts out a lot of the work that we have to do. So I'm going to come down here. We can see that brick width is different than row height. Uh, if we want to be using, uh, if, we, if we want square tiles, we need these to be the same. So I'm going to change this one here to 0.25. I'm going to make this scale a little bit less so that they're bigger and then I'm going to take this offset and move it all the way to the left and then we've got everything lined up here just like that. Okay up next what we're going to do is we're going to click on this brick texture node and then hit control T and that's a node wrangler shortcut so if you don't have node wrangler enabled you won't be able to do that. I'm going to move this texture coordinate over and we're going to do something we did in the last video which is distort this texture along the vector line. The way we do that is place a texture here. I'm going to make sure this is coming out of object. And let's look at this for a second. This is uh, distorted at quite a lot. Probably not what we want. We want less influence coming from this noise texture on that final brick texture. And the way that we do that is we add in a mix RGB. We put it right here after the noise texture. This should be going into color 1 and then we move another uh, we, we, can, we create another strand here coming from object directly into color 2 and now this factor controls how much influence this noise texture has. If we move it all the way to the right it has no influence and if we move it all the way to the left it has probably way too much influence. It has total influence. So we're going to move this quite far to the right. I'm going to put it at 0.99 and if we zoom in we can see it's a little regular. If we bump up the scale we can see it kind of changes it a little bit. Let's change this to 10 and maybe put the detail at 5, something like that. Yeah, looks pretty good. Next up, let's choose a color for these tiles. I think the easiest way to do that is with a color ramp. And I'm going to put this right after that brick texture. And uh, I'm going to swap these guys here, just move the black to the right and this guy to the left. And this left is going to be our color Let's move it in a little bit there, maybe to 0.15, and I'm going to select a blue-ish color here, just like this. That looks pretty good. And uh, let's plug this right into the base color on the principal shader right there as well, so we can see how it looks. Yeah, looks pretty cool so far. So you may have noticed that when we changed the color here, it also changed the color of the grout on our tile texture as well. We don't really want that. We want that color to be whatever is on the right of this color ramp. So because it's on the far right of this color ramp, if you recall, uh, basically any white value that we feed into here is going to be whatever is on the far right. So I'm going to change this mortar color to white and then this color will appear in this grout area. Let's try that out. I'm going to move this up here and as you can see now these grout areas are completely black. I don't want it so black. I'm going to move it up to middle gray here. Let's go ahead and do like, you know, 0.4. That looks pretty good there. I'm going to leave it as that. Let's just stop for a second and take a look at what we've got so far and how we could change this if we wanted. We've got color one is, it looks almost white, but if we click on it, we can see it's not quite white. It's a little bit gray. And then mortar is, you know, mid gray and then Pardon me, color 2 is mid gray and then mortar is white. So mortar is this color here, color 1 is like right around here, and then color 2 is right around here. So if we wanted, we could swap this up a little bit. We could add in another thing here and maybe change this to red or orange. So you see now we've got these different color tiles and pieces in the middle there as well. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to do that for this demonstration here. I'm going to try and keep it as simple as I can. So I'm just going to go back and uh, move forward from here. The next thing we want to do is create a roughness and a bump map for this texture. I'm going to move these guys up here and duplicate the brick texture and bring it down here. Connect the vector and then I'm going to change color 1 to completely white, color 2 to completely white, 
and mortar to kind of mid gray and let's see what that looks like so basically with the roughness we want the middle areas to be uh, very shiny and the grout to be not shiny and then for the bump map we want these tiles to be sticking out further and these grout areas to be recessed so let's set that up so if we try to plug this brick texture right into the roughness it wouldn't really work because this area right here that we want reflective is going to be higher on the roughness scale because white is a higher value than this value right here the mid gray so to solve that I'm just going to add in a color ramp place it here and I'm going to swap these values split flip color ramp and basically I can change this color here and it'll make it slightly less reflective or more reflective but we're going to plug this right into the roughness here and just see what that looks like okay that's looking pretty good we can see that the tiles are rough and the grout is not the next thing we should do is add a normal map here we can see the grout is not reflective you know that's cool but it looks like it's the same height as these other tiles so we're not actually going to change anything with the geometry but we're going to make it look like these are recessed here these grout areas the way we do that is add in a bump node here and we connect this bottom brick texture right to the height and then this normal to the normal and now we can see these shadows appear basically it's mostly to do with the light but it looks like this grout area is now slightly lower than all these tiles it gives it quite a cool effect so we're almost done uh, what I'm gonna do here is actually switch the render engine so far I've had it on EV I'm gonna change this to cycles and I've got a GPU that I can turn on GPU compute if you have one too I'd suggest you do it, it works a little bit faster there so now we're in cycles here and I want to make this a little bit more realistic so far I just don't feel like this is quite ceramic looking enough so what I did to make it a bit more like that is I added a glass shader and uh, I mean it is a little bit subtle and I don't even know if this is the best way to do it to be honest but uh, it's the way I did it originally so I'm just gonna show you that for now here so I've got a glass shader and then I put the color into color and the roughness into roughness and then I'm going to bring in an add shader and uh, put it right here and then connect this to the bottom socket and there we go uh, it just adds a bit more of a reflective glass quality there. I could also have come over here and turn down this value to more black. We get more of a reflective value there. Uh, you know, I could come over here and change this and change this whole roughness texture here. Maybe bring this down to one, you know, and then make it huge influence. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting. We could change this around quite a lot. So, anyways, hope you're able to follow everything that I showed you here and uh, hope you're able to make it your own and play around with it.